Hi guys. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. This is kind of like a weird start, but I'll make it make sense in a sec. Today is going to be a really exciting day. It's a really special day, um, which is making me more anxious because I really want to make a good impression on these people. And it doesn't help that I'm running late, like it's very diva-ish, but it actually isn't my fault. What happened was I got up early, showered, running on time, everything was fine. And I actually started filming. First of all, I started with the hair, so I haven't really finished it yet, but I started with just blowing my hair out. And then halfway through me filming and kind of speaking to camera, I normally, just to save uh, memory on my phone, I end up sending it over to my laptop. And when I did that and tried to press play on the video, it wasn't playing. And I was like, what is going on? I ended up having to get on the phone to Apple and I was on the phone to them for a whole 45 minutes trying to figure this thing out, which we never did, by the way. I'm supposed to actually be at this location for 12 o'clock and it's now coming up to one. Like 15 minutes is like okay to be late, but a whole hour, oh my gosh. So I guess the title of this video kind of gave it away. <laughs> So I'm gonna go and meet some family members, um, my long lost cousins who I've never met before. We discovered each other a couple years ago. Um, so we took this DNA test. I just wanted to be nosy and kind of find out my background, like where I was from. I know that I am from a Jamaican background, but you know you hear different stories like, if you're black, especially from the Caribbean, you already know what I'm about to say. You will hear your parents say that they've got Indian in them <laughs> or different things like that. So I used to hear like, you know, different stories. I, I don't know, there's always, I've always had curiosity um, because as you know, because of slavery and stuff, you're not, you know, there's no way that I could just be like Jamaican, if that makes sense. So I went ahead, took the test and I was pleasantly surprised that I was mostly Nigerian. <laughs> um, I was Ghanaian, Senegalese. Um, I had the Iberian Peninsula, um, which is, from my understanding, Spanish. And I had Moroccan, which is interesting. 1% um, hunter gatherer. Now that sounds a bit like you discovered Earth type vibes. Scottish, which isn't surprising because of my surname. Uh, Sweden came up. Um, yeah, so I was really thrilled about that. And that's kind of all I went on there like to do. And then a little while afterwards, I got a message from someone um, who basically said that, you know, our, our DNAs had matched um, quite close. And when I looked at sort of how we were, you know, matching up, I could see that they were very, very close in, you know, this wasn't like your seventh cousin. And I could see that we were actually cousins, like second cousins. That's how close we were. And I'm like, second cousins? And she basically just messages me and is just like, hey, like, you know, um, I can see that we're cousins on here. Like, how are you? So we end up, you know, speaking and then swapping, de swapping numbers. Um, and it was so, so funny because <laughs> I told her I was from the UK and she said, oh, I'm from Toronto. And I'm like, what? So when I speak to my grandma, and at this time my grandma had been taken into hospital and I mentioned the name to her and I say, you know, grandma, do you know who this person is? And her face just kind of like lights up and it kind of lights up like in shock. And she was like, well, how did you find, find this person? Um, and I said, well, grandma, like, and I had to explain to her and she was like, oh, but she didn't really fully like understand, but she was so surprised. Now my cousin tells me that when she spoke to her dad and she was just like, you know, dad, like I found your sister. I think he was a bit apprehensive because over 40 years ago, she had sent him a letter that he didn't respond to, but he actually didn't write her back. And I think from my understanding, it was just like, you know, uh, just putting it off kind of thing. But then 40 years went by and they hadn't spoken, hadn't kept in contact. He, they both came from Jamaica. He settled in Toronto. Um, my grandma settled in the UK. 
And so they just never, they never spoke again, which I find so like, so strange to me. Like, you know, I would always wanna, you know, find out where my siblings were, but I guess with technology, you can do a lot of things clearly. So my grandma's in hospital and I really felt like, you know, compelled to sort of bring them back together. Um, and my grandma, <laughs> my grandma was someone who definitely, she could hold a grudge. <laughs> and so when she said that, um, you know, she was happy for me to kind of hook them up together and reconnect them, I was a bit worried because no, it wasn't the response I was expecting. And I did think to myself, hmm, I hope my grandma's gonna be okay. And I'm not gonna lie to you, like deep down inside, I don't wanna get too emotional, but deep down inside, I did kind of think to myself, like the fact that she's like, she paused for a second and said, yeah, I would like to. That's not really like her. Like if you ignore her, then you will be ignored. Um, and I feel like people, when they are older, I think they definitely have an idea that maybe they're gonna be, you know, called home to heaven soon. So I got them hooked up together and they had a conversation on the phone and I went to visit her again in hospital and she seemed to be so happy about it. They were planning to speak again in like two weeks. And unfortunately, um, they never got to do that because my grandma passed away. But I'm just so, so glad that we're living in the times that we are now where you can connect people through the, connect with people through the internet. Um, and I'm so happy and that'll be something that I'll always be so, so happy about that she was able to, you know, speak to her brother after all that time and, you know, connect. I know they didn't get to have loads of conversations, but I'm just grateful that they were able to, you know, speak at least. So of course, I come to Toronto, I've got a huge, like, I've got so much family out here. And it so happened that some of my family members, like know some of my people that, <laughs> some of my friends. So it was bound to happen somewhere or another where we would meet, you know? So that's where I'm off to today. Okay, so here we are with the finished situation. This is pretty much like my signature, like what I will do all the time. So that it's literally foundation um, and the eyes. Like normally like I like the whole cat eye look. I'm um, just to elongate my eyes or whatever. And guys, I'm so nervous. I'm so nervous. So I don't actually know where I'm going. I just need to actually double check the address. I am! <laughs> of course I walked down the wrong way, guys. Hi! Hi. Oh my gosh, you guys are so cute! Your grandmother and my father are brother and sister. So they have the same mom and dad. Okay, so she and <laughs> your grand, so her mother and your grandmother yeah. are half sisters. So they have the same dad. My grandma, ha she has a half sister? Yeah. Yes. What? Yeah. <laughs> there's, there's a lot. There's a lot. There's about five of them, five or six. Are you serious? Yeah, you have like two great uncles in Jamaica. Uh, three great aunts in Jamaica that are all half sisters. She oh has another God. Yeah, she has <laughs> another half sister here in Canada. Huh? I didn't know that. <laughs> yeah. I thought it was just two brothers and a sister. No. No. Our family's like we have there's more. There's oh my god. More. <laughs> there are more. So there's another sister, half sister that's just on her mom's side. That's, that's crazy. Yeah. Crazy. Oh my god. <laughs> well hello. Hi. Yeah. And that she's my cousin's wife, um okay. on my mom's side. So she's not technically related to you. Okay. Well she is. Well, yeah. No. <laughs> this is your great grandfather and his wife. Mm-hmm. I'm not sure who these other two here, but this is the only picture I have of him. 
didn't he die in mm -hmm. 2009? 2000, that is crazy. Mm -hmm. That my I had a great grandfather that was, was alive, alive mm -hmm. and I didn't know at all. We're about to eat this lovely spread over here. So we've got rice, we've got veg, curry chicken, and family. <laughs> Can we just look at this? The same face, the exact same face. So I guess this is like the whole young gene in our family. How has your face not changed? Like I'm just... I'm not even telling you how many years have passed, so yeah. <laughs> So as you guys know by now, we are related through my grandmother's brother and he unfortunately is in hospital at the moment. So we're just gonna run some errands, um, just make sure he has it. Obviously we won't be able to go in the hospital. I was able to speak to him on the phone today, so he knows that I'm here. And also as well, I found out today that my grandmother's name is not the name I thought it was. I'm trying to find out who Ethel is. <laughs> I'm sorry, out of all names. Okay, Ethel. Um, I just don't know how you would keep that a secret from us all this whole time, but okay, love you. Rest in peace. I'll see you guys in a little bit. Keep right to stay on Ontario 401 West. So guys, I'm back at my friend's apartment now and I'm going to warm up some shepherd's pie that I made um, yesterday and hope there's a slice for my friend left. <laughs> I've had such a lovely day and it's been really informative, um, really nice getting to know the girls. I was so nervous, but you know, I think maybe they were at first, but you know, we kind of relaxed a little and um, you know, spent the day together, which was so nice. The food was amazing. Um, and hopefully I'll be able to spend more time with them, obviously off camera as well. I just wanted to share my first experience of meeting them with you guys. I am actually put on some girlfriends. I don't know if you guys have seen it, but this show was like sick back in the day. Um, but I remember I was just a bit too young to kind of get it. But now that I'm like an adult, <laughs> make sure you guys subscribe if you haven't already so that you can keep up to date with what's going on with me in Canada and also just in general. Thanks guys for watching and remember we get better not bitter.